In this demo, I will use Nmap to scan the vulnerable metasploitable host in my local network. Starting Nmap without any of the options runs as a default scan and provides all sorts of information for you. This IP address belongs to the metasploitable host that I have in place in my home network. But wait, we're professional penetration testers, right? We don't just use the default options. To get what everything Nmap offers, we need to use the minus A switch for maximum results output. This option enables additional advanced and aggressive options. It includes operating system detection, version scanning, script scanning, and trace route. Let's add the minus V argument for verbose output. Now here's the trick. If you're trying to test during your client's business operational hours, then you should be careful of not slowing down the network by using the minus T switch, where T0 is the slowest and T5 is the fastest scan. Because I'm testing my home network, I will use the T4 option instead. By the way, if you don't assign a T value and map, by default, we'll use T3. One final thing left before we start the scan execution. We need to save the results on the disk. So we use the output argument to accomplish the results. The minus OA argument outputs the results to all formats, normal, grepable, and XML. Now let's check the output results together. A huge number of open ports. In fact, this is done on purpose in the Metasploitable host. So penetration testers like us would be able to test different services. In future modules, we will use the output results for exploitation and brute force attacks.